Okay, so this is one you didn't send me, but I figured you might like this one. So this is Grassmeyer Drive. It's right off of Purple Heart. So pretty close to base, right in between Fort Campbell Boulevard and Peachers Mill. It's a cute little neighborhood though. Sidewalks, beautiful tree in the front yard. Okay. Right. You walk in, got a large living space. You let the TV mount. And then off of the living room, you have your kitchen. Got a little island here. Stainless steel appliances. And a pantry. Pantry smells a little funky. Like it needs a good wipe down. That happens. I like that they did the same Backsplash has the counter. Brings a little bit more modern look to this house. And it has granite, so not very common in houses in Clarksville unless you're in the uh, more luxury market. All right, off of the kitchen, you have the backyard. Got a nice little screen door, keep the bug out, buggies out. Okay, great size deck. That is a big old wasp right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't you dare come near me, mister. Yeah, stay over there. Okay, got a privacy fence. It's got a little shed. Oh my gosh, look at that thing, it's huge. Okay, got a little shed. Oh my gosh. Interesting that they have the garage. Well, the garage is on the front, so I guess the garage pulls up on both sides. I've never seen that before. So, can drive straight through and park cars back here. That's pretty cool. Lots of privacy back here. Got some old garden beds if you wanna grow your own food. This is pretty flat too, which is another rare thing anywhere in Middle Tennessee. A lot of the lots are super hilly. Okay. Looks like these are real hardwood, just going off of the scratches on them. Let's lock this back up. Also off of the kitchen, you have your laundry room. Some bifolds. Okay. Then here is your garage access. This is super cool. I've never seen anything like this. So they almost made a one car garage into a two car garage by the depth of it. So you could easily pull your truck, you know, just right here, given it would fit through the garage door. I'm not sure what kind of truck you drive. And then you could have your wood shop in this back part. And they already have some built-in storage. You've got a nice wall for your tools. Pretty sweet garage, to be honest. Okay.
right. Then going back through the living room and down the hallway. Coat closet and a linen closet immediately on your left. Oh my gosh, no carpet anywhere. That's literally my dream, but some people do like carpet. So then on the right side of the hallway, you have your two secondary bedrooms. There's always one that seems to be smaller than the other. So this one I would say would make a really awesome office space or you could put a full-size mattress, two twins in here. For guests, if you plan to have a guest room, just a little hanging closet, probably about four feet long. This is a view of the backyard. And then this one is probably one of the larger ones we've seen so far. You could easily fit a queen in here. And it has a walk-in closet. Very small walk-in closet, but you can still walk inside of it. So once again, probably about four feet wide. Um, say it's about three feet deep. And you have your attic up there. In the backyard view again. Okay. And then going towards the master, you have your secondary bath. Got a granite countertop, cute little single vanity, some overhead storage above the toilet, and a shower tub combo. I always love blue walls in a bathroom because it reminds me of the beach. So then on the left side of the hallway, you have your master bedroom. So when I'm thinking about this one for furniture, um, could be a little trickier putting a dresser somewhere. You might have to do it in front of this window um, or just you know, use a different type of furniture like some storage cubes up here as a dresser since this is probably about a four foot space. Most dressers are about six feet, but this is a really awesome master. I love that they have the floors going all throughout. You've got this really pretty window looking up into your front yard. Walk-in closet, dual hanging. And then the master bath. You have an oversized single vanity with another type of granite. I love the variety of granite they have in this house. And then standalone shower. So yeah, that wraps it up for this one. I just thought you might like it. So I added it to the list for the day.